Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. Taiwan is tackling serious water problems in its record drought. 2. Thai mothers are fighting for activist children accused of offending the king. Taiwan. Taiwan is tackling serious water problems in its record drought. Some households in Taiwan are going without running water two days a week after a months-long drought dried up the island's reservoirs and a popular tourist lake. Authorities are drilling extra wells and using military planes to dump cloud seeding chemicals in hopes of triggering rain. The government has allocated money to extract drinkable water from the sea. Farmers who need to flood paddies to raise rice, lotus root and other thirsty crops have been hit hard. Rainfall in the seven months through February was less than half the historic average after no typhoons hit Taiwan in 2020 for the first time in 56 years, according to the government. Households in areas under top-level restrictions go without running water two days per week. They include Taiwan's second-biggest city, Taichung, with 2.8 million people, and Miali and Zhonghua counties. Parts of Sun Moon Lake, a popular tourist spot, have dried up. The boat rental business for tourists is 90% worse than last year. Other cities are restricting total water supplies for each customer. The economy ministry allocated 2.5 billion new Taiwan dollars in March for good drilling and emergency seawater desalination facilities. Thailand Thai mothers are fighting for activist children accused of offending the king. Shuriyarat Shuwarak sat calmly in a Bangkok courtroom as her head was shaved in a show of support for her activist mother, who has been imprisoned for weeks without bail on criminal charges of insulting Thailand's strong king. It was an unexpected turn of events for the 51-year-old business consultant, but she felt compelled to act after her son, student protest leader Parrot Penguin Chiwarak, 22 years old, was taken to the hospital after a nearly eight-week hunger strike. Shuriyarat formed an unlikely coalition with other mothers seeking equality for their children, who had never been overtly political before, as authorities arrested young protest leaders and largely put an end to their movement. A core group of five mothers, from a business owner to a rice farmer, formed their bond as they met on trips to court in prison to see their children. The focus of their campaign is the release of their children, not the causes the young activists have taken up. But for some, their efforts have become intertwined with some of the issues that got the youngsters into trouble. The government has dismissed the allegations claiming that the reforms were made to give employees more flexibility and accusing the main political party of misrepresenting what it wants to achieve. The mothers have recently staged several quiet protests, standing together for one hour and 12 minutes a reference to Article 112 in the Criminal Code on insulting the monarchy next to cardboard cutouts of their children and showing the three-finger salute of defiance to demand that they be granted bail. Despite the usual persecution of such opponents, many parents said they initially struggled to understand their children's demand for monarchy change. Some activists have gone into exile, while others have vanished or died in mysterious ways. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.